Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I am in Silver Run Forest and tackling a new adventure, and that is taking on forestry instead of farming. It's, I mean, it is a it is a form of farming. We're farming trees, but a whole nother thing. It's I do have a, a grove of seedlings planted um, back near my house, but you're limited to a certain amount, a certain number, and those take time to grow. So. I uh, got that going, uh, and I mean, it's very similar to how I was running my farm um, um, in my first game, and that is, you know, I've got um, um, a, a plot of land that is growing something like, you know, sorghum or oat or wheat or something, right? Uh, in the meantime, you go out and you do some contracts for money. So that's what I'm doing here. I uh, jumped off on this map. It shows me the forest that I'm... I'm supposed to go with this contract. I'm having a hard time with my chainsaw. And so just um, a disclaimer here, and you should know if you watch any of my videos, none of my videos are this is how you play. <laughs> They're almost all this is how you don't play. This is my first time doing this. So uh, most YouTubers will watch other YouTubers and they'll play for hours and they'll fine tune it and then they will show you how to do it which is great and that is useful. I choose not to watch those. I want to figure this stuff out myself. Now, if I ever get to the point where I'm completely stuck and I, or I hate the game and I'm gonna give up unless I can figure something out, then maybe I'll get some, um, some advice. Now here I chopped down this beautiful tree and it says, no, you cut down the wrong tree. Keep an eye on the tree markers. So I should have known that, didn't know that. I mean, I. I did know that, but my first time through. So luckily, I don't think I was um, ticketed or anything happened because of that tree. But now I know I need to look for marked trees. And the red circle on the map turns out the the contract is for marked trees right here. Here's one within the circle. I just thought it meant that forest, right? But literally, it's within that circle. So I assume the circle will get bigger. So here's the, the angle it's telling me to cut. I don't know if I have to be right on that angle, above that angle, below the angle. I'm just going to go for it right here. So um, that'll put the tree right there. <laughs> so, uh, well, you know, a chainsaw I had. You start the game, and, and I didn't start on easy where you have a bunch of equipment i started on nothing so although i was given a uh, chainsaw and a million five hundred thousand dollars so i bought my house and did all that stuff previous video if you haven't seen that real real happy with my house and my setup but here i am really trying to make some money um and i don't know how to do any of this stuff i'm trying to cut those branches off because i know that's a good thing so i'm just trying to like figure out and I'm like, well, if I hold down B on my joystick, it cuts the tree in half. It'll give you like a yellow. If it's blue, it's not going to work, it looks like. If it's yellow, it looks like it's going to cut. But what I'm trying to do is there's blue. So like, nope. I'm trying to figure out how to cut the branches off so I can slide this. And it's just not cutting. Um, so I don't know. Sometimes it does cut. So I just don't know what the technique is um, at all. There it goes. It cut. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, I just need to be off to the side. Um, to cut those branches off. So, but like here, I, I'm not right on it. So maybe it's because my chainsaw isn't actually touching the. It's going to take a little bit of practice to figure this whole thing out. But I know they're going to get hung up on other trees unless I. There we go. Just kind of walk down the tree. And it shouldn't cut it in half because I'm going parallel to the tree. So that seemed to have worked. I don't know how I'm going to get this down the mountain. And at this point, it's, uh, you notice, by the way, my audio is not synced to me. I'm playing this late at night and uh, didn't want to keep the family uh, awake. So that happens a lot with my videos. I like to do it live, but in this case, it's late at night. I'm playing and just playing quietly. Uh, so um, commentary is now after the fact, which kind of gives me an advantage. I've had time to kind of think things through and look back. So I'm not really sure at this point, like, that circle is is pretty big and I have to walk 
It's steep. I have to walk and look at every... I'm looking for Deadwood. So the contract, by the way, is for Deadwood. So I'm like, oh, okay. I sh the first tree I cut down was like a ponderosa. So I should have walked up to the tree and like the... Well, let's see if I do it here. Walk up to a tree and put my cursor on it. It'll tell me what kind of tree it is. And, you know, I'm learning as I go. So if you also play this game or are thinking about playing this game... Um, Hopefully you'll learn a few things from me here, what not to do. I also learned um, if you look up, you can see it is a dead tree. So there's a couple tips there. One, it is a different kind of color. Two, it's really scraggly. The branches are definitely um, dead. Like here's one. Easy to find once you know that. So you can see those branches. They're, they, it looks like a dead tree. So... Um, and it will say deadwood when you walk up to it. tells you how long it is. This one is 23.2 meters. So again, cut it at that angle. It will slide and then boom, onto the ground. And uh, I don't know the technique. I just... Um, this is the first thing that came to mind was walk around. If I'm a logger, I throw a chainsaw over my shoulder and I start walking. What a tough job, right? I've never done it, but I can't imagine. And then you start cutting trees down. But... It occurs to me then that um, a couple things. A, how do I get these down to the road? B, maybe most importantly, where are they now? Like I've cut maybe four or five. I haven't kept track. So I'm like, okay, I need to get uh, something to help me. I can't do it. I can't, I can't pick them up. They're too heavy. I can't use my little John Deere 4x4, four, uh, four, uh, side by side. That's what it is, side by side. So um, I am going to quickly run back home and enjoy my view. I love being at home here. It's so nice. So I even have to take a moment just to, oh, that's so nice. That's so pretty. <sighs> and then I'm like, okay, let's sleep. Let's go ahead and get up early. 7 a.m. is probably good. Um, and I don't know what time of year it is, not even paying attention. So it could be pitch dark, it could be light, I don't know. If it's winter, it's, I mean, there, it, there's no snow. So uh, it is October. I just didn't have a time to look at that while I was playing. So it's October. Uh, it's getting, it's dark, getting dark earlier. It's getting light later. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, purchase a... Um, I need some way to get these these logs down. So um, what I purchase is a winch, and that makes sense. And the winch would be on the front of my tractor, which I already own. I'm trying to save money. And yes, I have 100, 800000 in the bank, but that'll go fast. That's like one or two machines, depending on the machine. It could be one. So I need to be really careful here. I have no idea what, I, what my expenses might be. So again, I'm walking around just making sure I'm not missing any. My job is to, uh, the contract is to get the deadwood in that, within that circle and haul it away. Um, I, get, I, don't, I think I get paid. I mean, at this point, I'm thinking this is way too much work for, I haven't chopped them up. I haven't loaded them. I haven't hauled them. I haven't sold them. Um, I, th I don't even know where they all are. I just chopped them down. So now I have to walk around and um, it's, I'm just not being very efficient. I'm trying to look at every tree within that circle, walk up to it. That one says pine tree. And then I look up and go, okay, are there any dead wood trees still in that circle? And if no, if not, okay, cool. But now where are they? <laughs> Crap. I mean, I didn't tie a orange flag around anything i didn't mark them there is marking spray paint you can buy oh here's another tree so see i almost missed that one so we got to chop that one down too so it's a process for sure i just and i i'm just not really sure the best way to do this i do want to figure it out myself but i am getting discouraged i'm not really sure if this is a lot of fun at this point I was excited when this when I saw that this map was available because this you could do a little bit of logging in the other on the other maps but this map is logging like you're logging uh, so there's a few farms you could still plant a little bit but this is basically a logging map 
So I was pretty excited because I thought this could be fun. It's like having a whole new game, just log, you know, logging simulator 22, <coughs> which could be a thing, right? I don't know. I'm glad it's not just logging because I can, if I get tired of this, I can go back to farming. But at this point, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's interesting. It's a fun challenge for sure. I lose interest quickly. That's my problem. Oh, I just think I walked past one that had, I thought I saw red on a tree. <sighs> but now that I, I'm watching, I, w I didn't probably see it when I was playing. I see it. It's right there. See that dead tree? Right there. I see it. Yes, that one. Go. Yes. Okay, I went back to it. That's good. Um, and then we need to chop that one down too. So that might be the last one. And then we got to figure out how to get these things out of here. I don't have the equipment to do it. I'm thinking tractor with a winch. I can tie to the tree and winch or back the tractor up down to the road, I think. I don't know how long the winch is. I'm not sure if I can pull them through the, through the forest. Um, trying to cut these branches off of this tree again. That's a, it's a little clunky. Or I'm a little clunky. So just trying to clean it up. But it doesn't come off really easily or obviously. So I'm like, I don't know don't know so there's a few things that yeah it'd be easy just to google it and it'll tell you show you how to do it watch a youtube video um i'm just trying to like i'm a new logger i'm trying to figure it out myself i like to do that first and we'll see how it goes so it's awkward at this point there we go now i'm going if i go sideways and i don't hold the b button down i just kind of tap it 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 is letting me cut branches off if I just go sideways as well. So, but if I hold it down, it can turn into a complete chop, like right there. It's like, then I end up with this little eight foot piece, I, and I don't know. And then here's another chop. So, I probably should be more efficient with this. I don't even have a trailer yet, but if I, my trailer is 12 feet long, my log should be probably 10 feet or something, you know, consistently. So, uh, is this another? There's another deadwood tree. So, um, this should, this should be, I wish it showed on, in the circle like little red dots and then, and then once they're all down, or maybe they turn green once you chop them down, and then once they're all done, that would be nice, but no. There's probably a mod for that. There are a lot of mods for this game now that the game's been out a couple years. It's one of the advantages of playing a game that came out a couple years ago. Um, but I try not to do mods. Um, Unless they're a really good one. But that would be a good one if it showed that my contract was that I got all the trees. If that, like, let's say the circle, the red circle turned green. That would be a great mod. It's just like it told you. I mean, think about it. If you're a logger and someone contracts with you, they probably know. You're going to cut down 12 deadwood trees. They, I, I would think they, they would count it. Someone would count it because you have to get paid. Right? They're not going to just say, go cut all the deadwood trees down. What if there's 500 of them and you're getting paid $1,000? So, um, or if there's one and you're getting paid $1,000, let's see how it's a whole different kind of thing. So um, I would think that would be a really cool mod if that circle turned green once you chop down the last tree that's on contract and then you are confident that you've got them all. Um, here I'm still struggling with the branches. Just I just need to give it up. It's, it's not working the way I'm using the chainsaw wants to cut the branches in half, which it does great, but it just does not love the branches. I was hoping that just by touching the brand, the chainsaw image to the right, right there, if it touches it. But the problem is it's 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 three dimensional, right? So from my view, it looks like it's touching it, but I might be six feet away from the branch, so. That, that's a little bit tough. So, uh, is this another dead one? No. Nope. Okay. Oh, yes. Because it, it looked like it. It just looked dead. So, another one. Oh, my gosh. So, okay. We need to move on here. Lots of deadwood trees, for sure. Get them all done. Now we need to figure out how to get them down the mountain. So, I, mean, I don't know how many that is. That's about eight or ten. I think it's more like eight. So... Uh, but certainly a process, but I think the fastest way is just to look up in the sky and instead of looking at the trunks, looking for a red, oh, red slash, another red slash. 
Um, there's another one. So, um, I think the one next to it looks dead, too. Go check that out. So, I'm getting my practice in. No, that one's got greenery. That one's not dead. Sometimes the branches down below look dead, and maybe they are dead, but the tree is not dead. So, got to look up and make sure there is no... Um, there's one right there. You can see that right straight through. That one has no greenery on top. And uh, I should be heading towards that straight up right there. Yep. Oh, there's two. Oh, no. Another two. So, more. You know, the contract, I think it was only for a couple thousand dollars. Uh, and if that's what I get paid for this, not worth it. I'm not even close. But I'm hoping that's what the landowner is paying me. And... I will also get paid at the, at the sawmill like big money. I'm hoping. If so, I might be interested. If not, no, no way. For a couple thousand dollars, there's no way when I can get paid six or ten farming, right? But I have a feeling they'll pay me a couple thousand to get these trees out of here. By the way, that's way low. I've had trees taken out at my own house, and they're about 4,000 a tree, and it's in my backyard. This is on the side of a mountain, and there's like 10 trees. This should be a $20,000 job, I would say for sure, just to get them out of here. But it's okay. It's a game, um, and we'll go from there. Is this one dead? This one looks different. It's dark, but I don't think it's dead. So don't see any red markings. No. Okay. So please be the last one. Please. I think it is. So just have to make kind of a quick walk through the forest, looking up at every treetop, making sure in the circle. So what I'm doing is I'm walking the perimeter of the circle. I'm looking at my arrow on the map. I'm walking the outside of the red circle, looking. There's one. Is that in the circle? If it is in the circle, nope, it's right. It's on the outside of the circle. So, okay, good. So, and I'm walking the perimeter, the outside of the circle, and I'm looking inward, and that will give me a really good, there's, a, there's one I chopped. I'm going to have to re find that again somehow. And uh, once I walk the whole perimeter looking in, um, I'm going to chop this one in half while I'm here. It's got to be chopped in half anyway. I'm going to save. Oh, and then I'm like, okay, let's, um, let's get a winch, and we're going to get that attached. So we're going to pick up this winch. Um, it's like $21,000. So at the store, and, and this is a new map for me, so I didn't even know where the store was. I had to look it up and be really careful driving there. Um, and then I bumped this just a little bit hard and had to back up and then connect it. So now this is my winch. I love that it's like a barrier. So I had to drive it all the way up. I did find a highway, a faster way to get here, by the way. So that helped. And then it took me, um, a long time to figure out how to use the winch. I kept trying to connect it and connect it and connect it it just would not connect well it turns out i had to press another button it's a combination of the left button right button and then sometimes you have to hold down both at the same time so i just have to kind of pay attention to what it says under controls right there um, but i could not find the connect it took me like 10 15 minutes and then eventually i think i pressed the rb button and as a matter of fact it's flashing if i just pay attention then right there then it says press a it took me forever and then once i did that it actually connects so there you go and then it starts sliding down the hill so um what i want to do is back the tractor up and um pull it to the road and eventually have some kind of equipment come pick it up put it in a trailer should be easy peasy Whew. maybe so i showed you i showed you the whole process of cutting the trees down just to show you how much how much work that actually was. I did edit a lot of this video, but I think I showed you most of the... Here there's a tree stuck. I'm trying to slide it down, but it's stuck. So I have to go up and uh, reconnect it. So it's, I think it's A is connect, Y is disconnect the winch. Um, and then once I get them all down, which I think at this point I have done, they're all down on the road. I am trying to cut them into lengths of like 10 feet. Also trying to trim off all the branches uh, the best I can. So again, it's a process. I am just not good at it. But these the trees are really big. So 
I don't know what kind of trailer I'm going to get, but probably a cheap one. So I'm thinking I need short. I need to cut these 30 foot trees, 40 foot trees into 10 foot sections, so roughly. But also get those branches off of there. I'm thinking I'll get more money out of them if I sh if I show up with straight trimmed trees that are kind of cut in equal lengths. I'm sure there's a way to do it <laughs> like better. I'm sure there is. I know there is. I just don't know what it is. So, um, cleaning up the trees the best I can. Um, I know at this point when I was playing, I was losing interest. I was quickly thinking, yeah, this isn't for me. I'm having a hard time trimming. It's not making sense to me. Sometimes it cuts the branches. Sometimes it doesn't cut the branches. Um, that might be something that I will look up online and watch somebody who goes, oh yeah, you have to hold this down and then do that. And it, if it works, that could save a lot of my frustration. Uh, the, the fun has to outweigh the frustration, right? In a game, for sure. For sure. Like 10 to 1, 9 to 1. Um, fun to frustration. A little bit of frustration is okay, but it can't be the other way around. 9 to 1 frustration to fun. So, all right, there's a nice cleaned off, uh, mostly, tree. I can't seem to get that one. I just don't get it. I'm touching it. It looks like it's touching it. It just doesn't want to cut it. So, it just is logging. It's just logging. Yep. Oh, there it goes. And that time it cut it. Okay. All right. I guess maybe if the yellow ring is touching it, maybe that's the thing. So I'm trying to p learn as I'm watching, which is the benefit of recording after the fact. So if I notice that the yellow shows up and then I, t but I can't hold down B because it will cut the tree in half. But if it shows up, if I get a green ring it, or a yellow ring, it looks like it will cut. So, okay, maybe that's the thing. But how do you get the green ring? There it is. So cut and cut and cut. Okay, so note to self, get a, get a yellow ring Oh, even if it's not, it just has to be close to the branches. Yellow ring, boom. Okay, so we're going to pick up this MAN TGX 26.641. I'm thinking this is a all-in-one truck trailer grabber. I love it. Uh, cost me a couple hundred thousand, but um, one of the cheaper pieces of equipment. Um, uh, and I think this looks like about a 10-foot, um, 8 to 10-foot log thing and I have the grabber built right in because I was trying to figure out how am I going to do that so problem solved all I have to do is jump into this piece of equipment grab the logs now I've sped this up a little bit because this was uh, about a half hour of complete frustration just trying to figure out how to twist and open and close and extend and 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 pull back and rotate and <laughs> There's, there's a lot going on with the controller, and I'm not the best with controllers. So just to get one log in, as you can see, and straight. Oh, there we go. I was so excited when I dropped that log, and it was straight. Now I'm like, okay, I need like nine more. Some of them are short, like four-footers, six-footers. Some of them are too long, probably like 12, 14-footers. I didn't really pay that much attention to the to the length. Some of them I can actually pick up by hand. I was surprised that he could do that. So just uh, here's a tip. The smaller ones you can actually just pick up and throw on, which is they'd probably be 500-pound, 1,000-pound logs. But you can apparently do that um, with the light ones. But it'll say too heavy if you can't. Now, at this point, this is starting to look like... Um, a spilled box of spaghetti it used to be a game I played as a kid called pickup sticks or something where all they all crossed each other and that's what it's looking like and I'm not loving it I'm just thinking there's got to be a better way I would almost would rather have like a like a truck bed uh, but we'll try it again in the future come back and join me we'll see if I decide to keep playing I'd like to at least haul those logs to the sawmill to see if I get any money from it. So come back and we'll see how that turns out. I'll catch you next time. For now, Mr. Johns is out.